Hello guys, welcome back to Technical Alphas. Today I'm going to be handling foreign key constraints with WAMP server. The idea is the same with ZAMP server, so please watch the video to the end and don't forget to subscribe. The channel name is Technical Alphas. So let's get started. The first thing I have to do is open up my server. In this case I'm going to be using WAMP. I'm on my PHP my admin, so I'll come here new. Now I'm creating my database. This is going to be just a demo database in which I'm going to create two tables and I'm going to make one a foreign key to the other. So I'm going to call this demo. Then create. This is how we create a database with ZAMP or WAMP server. So after finishing, you see my database demo has come here. So within my database demo, I'm going to create two tables. One is going to be student and the other is going to be department. So this is student. Students is going to have like, let me say three. Let me say like three. Now, the first one is going to be the registration number. Let me say reg number. Registration number. The name. And the department where they belong. So the department is going to be a variable character, Vacha. Sorry. The department is going to be Vacha and the name a Vacha and the registration number also is going to be a Vacha. So you're going to give this around 2020. 20. This one also 20. And the last one also 20. So we make the registration number the primary key. So you come here at the index, then we make it the primary. So now we can save. We have finished creating our table student. As you can see here in table, we have our table student. So we are going to create another table called department. Then we make registration number. A what? We make the department ID an a foreign key in student. So here let's create department. So the table name is going to be department. And the department is going to have the department ID, the department name, then Let's say the faculty. So these are enough. This is going to be a variable character. This is also going to be a variable character. And the department ID is going to be an integer. So it's going to be made the auto increment. The department ID is going to be an auto increment. AI. And we are going to make the department name. Let's make it unique. So we save this. So we have to enter the valid length. Vacha has to be 20. Let's make also this 20. Then we can save our table. So we have two tables in our database called demo. If you check on the structure department, in department we, ha we check on the structure here. Department has department ID, department name and the faculty. So department ID here is the primary key. So let us make the department name unique. Because there can't be two departments with what? With the same with the same name. So the department name has to be unique. We come back and check on the student. The table student the table student has a structure too. It has the registration number, the name, and then the department. So we have to make the, this department to pick the department ID from the table department because this is going to be a foreign key. So let's go to department and add in some values. Then later, we are going to call for the what? For the foreign key, and it's going to just be getting them from the other table to this table. 
without making a person at them physically. So we come to insert. Department ID is going to be auto increment, so we don't put the department here. I can call computing faculty faculty of science and technology. So let me put another department. Let's say agriculture. Agriculture. And it's also in the faculty of science and technology. So we save these two. We have two departments. So if I browse, you see that we have two departments. One with ID1 and the second one with ID2. The department name is computing and the second department name is agriculture. So we are going to get these ones as foreign keys in the table student. So we go to table student. Go to come to structure. So we, are, we come to department. Department, which is going to be picking the department name from the table from the table department. So we come and press on index. We index it. Press OK. Then come to relation view. Relation view down here. Now we are going to make this the foreign key. So we are going to be dealing with the database demo. Second, we go to the table department. Then from the table department, we pick the department name. So this is how we have made it a what? A foreign key. So the next thing we have to do is save this. Then we register a new student and see how we can get and see how this works. So we come to table student. Come to table student. Then we insert a student and see. So let us insert a student. The registration number, for example, 19 slash BIT slash 001 slash UMC. Then the name. The name, let's say, like John. Then the department. We will not. Then the department will not be writing it. It will be getting from the table department. Then we just pick. So we have computing. Then here we can enter another student. For example, let's say 19 slash agriculture. Let's say Barry slash 002 slash UMC. Then the name, let's say like Tom. Then it's from the department of agriculture. Then you, we add these two students. So, we, if we browse, you see that we have two students, but the department, we did not enter, just pick the departments we have in our table department and brought them to students. As you can see down here, we have agriculture and we have computing here. So this is how foreign keys work with ZAMP and WAMP server. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. Comment on the video for more information. Thank you.